Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to do save state using RPCS3. So this is a more of a recent edition. I just make sure RPCS3 is updated. I've installed this using EMU Deck. If you installed it using an alternative method, it'll work fine as well. So you won't really have an issue. Okay, so I'm doing it via the regular Steam game menu. This is what I recommend. First of all, what you want to do is go to your controllers to save on the linux version of rpcs3 which is what we have on here you have to press Control s we don't obviously have that on here and i mean i guess you could try and bring up the keyboard and do something but that that's not the best what i recommend is i'm just going to turn the steam deck around these controls at the back here i recommend that you use one of these i'm going to map it to r5 just because I don't use that on RPCS3. If you do, feel free to map it something else, like R4, L4, whatever. And let me get this straight. Okay, so, so you go to your controls, go to R5, select that, and for the command, go to Control. And now, because that's just Control, you need to do Control S, press the gear icon, press Add Sub Command. So what that'll mean is you'll press Control. You know internally then you'll press the other command which is going to be the s key so press the s key and now there we go we have r5 set to save in in rpcs3 launch up rpcs3 and again i again i can just use the right trackpad because i already configured this if you haven't feel free to watch up watch my rpcs3 setup video on emu deck for steam deck that will you know explain everything what I recommend is that you go to configuration, you go to GPU, select right color buffers, and this is usually you know needed for Demon Souls. But if you are saving states, this can help the compatibility. Again, that's just something to bear in mind. Right now, the save states in RPS3 aren't the most stable. It'll vary based on game. The other thing you need to remember is. It uses quite a lot of storage space. It can be anywhere between a few megabytes to, you know, north of a gig. So bear that in mind because it's dumping, you know, the entire PlayStation 3 RAM, essentially. So, yeah. So, again, bear that in mind when you're using it. Click Debug. Select Force CPU Emulation. Again, this is just to help the compatibility for the save states. And now... To load up a save state, I'll show you that first. You right click your game, you go to boot with save state, and you go through the process of your know, compiling shaders, etc. etc. and you know the PPU modules, all that stuff. But once that's done, like mine would just go directly to menu because that's where I did the save state. And I find usually Killzone 2 isn't the most stable of games, so the menu doesn't always <laughs> the text doesn't always appear. That's nothing to do with save states per se. That's just the compatibility of this game that I've been, you know, trying out. But there we go. We we went directly into the menu, and yeah, I don't know what I've just selected here. <laughs> I don't know what that third or fourth option was. I don't know if it's the intro or something. I will go out to that, and I will launch the game back up, and I'll show you how to actually activate the save state. Pretty simple, you press R5, but I'll show you it working. Again, right click, boot with save state. Just wait patiently for it to load up. <coughs> oh, that was a pretty loud sneeze, as all of mine usually are. Okay, so there we go. To save it, remember also what I'll do is I'll have it on the last option. So there's a difference where the cursor is. And I'll press R5. The game usually pauses and then I find most of the game just crash or quit. And that's fine. You, you, you know, I should have saved it. And if I right click, go to boot with save state. So once that loads up, it should go to where we, 
you know, activated our save state. Uh, oops, strange, not doing it. I'll just quit out of it again. This is early days yet. Uh, you know, save states are even not just on Steam Deck, even on your PC. So for that reason, you're gonna have a few issues, and it's just one of those things you just gotta bear in mind and just deal with. Unfortunately. So remember, it should be the last option now that was selected in the menu. I've tried it in game on Killzone. It it does not work. It takes too long, and that's another thing. It can take a while as well. So it depends on how long you're willing to wait for it. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it takes too long. So all sorts of stuff. There you go. If I press down, go to the top one. There we go. So that's it. That's save states in RPCF3 on your Steam Deck. Pretty simple stuff right now again not the best compatibility not in the best state but i know a lot of people have been asking for this how to do it because there's no obvious keyboard that's how you do save states and if you you know, want to do any other commands there you go you know you know how to you know add a sub command so if you want to do some sort of complex command that you can do on your desktop you can do that on steam deck now and it's not just restricted to rpcs3 it's any application you can add those commands and they're linked to that particular application so you won't have any crossover and that's it if you have any questions feel free to you know pop a message in the discord group link in the description give the video a thumbs up if you liked it hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye